Hello everyone, so I'm here with kind of a more of a different video than what I usually do, and with this one it's more hands-on, and what I really want to do for a long time now. This video is going to be mainly focusing on the Arduino. The Arduino is a microcontroller, and this guy can do some pretty cool things. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use this to make a universal remote that can turn off just about any TV. So, uh, we'll get to it. Is I have this really old, kind of junky looking uh, shield that I made for it a long time ago when I first created this project. As you can see, it has an LED here, an LED right here, a button, several pins and wires to connect it all. And it hooks onto the pins of the Arduino to create this little shield. Now, this is an infrared LED. This is just a regular green one and just a regular tactile switch. When all of these are put together, along with the right order and all the wires and such, and the program is added to Arduino, you can create a universal remote. Okay, so what I have here is the shield, TV Begone shield, uh, connected up to the Arduino uh, with a portable power supply. And so when I turn this on, you can see the indicator LED is blinking because it's matched with the signals with the uh, infrared LED. And you can see the infrared LED kind of has a purplish tinge to it and is working. So hopefully by the end of the tutorial you guys will be able to make one of these and have it run successfully. Alright, so right here I have pretty much everything that we'll need laid out already for the exception of a couple hookup wires. So, right here we have a indicator LED, which is what we'll be using as an indicator LED. It is a small yellow LED. And then right here we have our infrared LED, or IR LED. And you can get these from old TV remotes to almost anything, sometimes controllers from video games. So we'll essentially only need these two, and then we'll also be using prototyping board, or you could just stick with a breadboard and wires if that's all that you have. So essentially, we are going to be using three main pins. If we were using the button, the button would have picked up pin 1. Uh, the regular or the infrared LED would be at pin 3 and then our pin 13 would be for our regular indicator LED and then we would have ground but since the button really isn't necessary with the adjustments that I made to the program, we won't be using it. So we can cross out pin 1, so that leaves us with two main pins we can focus on, and then there's always ground. So, what we need to do is now is to take an Arduino, and then take some jumper wires. And we're going to be connecting this one to pin 3. Take this one, this one will be connecting to pin 13, let's go ahead and count it to make sure. And then we'll be using the ground next to pin 13. Okay, so now if we give this some power, we'll see that it blinked once, and then nothing's really happening. Now, because we got rid of our button, now to compensate for that, we're just going to take a regular plug-in wire, or hookup wire, 
place it into pin 1, and then place that onto ground. And what that's going to do, instead of using the button, it's just going to go straight to, to ground. So every time you turn on the Arduino, it'll automatically go through the motions. So as you can see, both our yellow LED and our infrared LED are going off. And so now we actually have a working TV begone. Okay, so I'm going to be facing this towards my monitor, slash TV, and now I will be giving the Arduino power, and we should see in a couple seconds the TV turn off. And there we go. Now if we look back at our breadboard, we can see the infrared LED going off as well as our indicator LED. Now, before we go on the soldering, to really get a good idea on what's going on here, I'm going to try to draw out a little uh, example. So essentially we have our Arduino right over here. And then we also have our LEDs over here. Now this LED is just a regular indicator LED. And our LED over here is our infrared LED. This is our positive side, and then this will be our negative side. Now over here on the Arduino, we will be messing around with roughly only three pins. That being pin number one, our pin number three, and pin 13, as well as our ground. And that's just a, a close-up. So we will have our pin 1 with our little jumper wire connected straight to ground. we will have our pin 3 connecting up to our infrared and then we will have our pin 13 connecting right up to our regular LED and then all of these will be attached to ground So if that, hopefully that cleared up anything, and it didn't confuse you guys any more than you already are, but hopefully it's just a little bit easier for you guys to understand. So we'll go ahead and get started with the soldering. Okay, so here I have some simple electrical tape holding down the wires. This is kind of the layout that we have. Uh, right here is our ground as well as our pin 13 that will connect to the Arduino. Over here is our pound, uh, pin 3 and then our pin 1. And if we flip it over you'll see these copper circles. This is where we're going to be soldering. These are the pins that will be inserted into the Arduino.
Okay, so here I have the LEDs put into position, and now I'm going to tape them down with a piece of electrical tape so they do not move around when I solder. You can see that I have completed the circuit. We have a couple uh, bridges over here of solder to connect the ground. And then it's all connected to our ground on this side. So everything is pretty much all wired up and should be ready to go. There we go. See if it'll turn it back on. No, it looks like it only turns it off. All right. Well, as you can see, the infrared LED is going off as well as our indicator LED. So everything is working as it should be. All right. So this is the uh, part of the tutorial where we add or upload the code to the Arduino. So this is very simple. All you have to do is just make sure the library is selected. So you go up into your Arduino platform and then you find to where it has import libraries and then you want to choose the one where it has TV be gone. Before you get to this step you want to make sure that TV be gone folder is in your library of your uh, hmm, of your program files. Uh, in order to get this, you can go to the link that I have down below to download it, or you can go off and search for it on your own. It's your decision. So once you have imported the library, all you have to do is just open up the sketch, which is very simple. All you have to do is go to your libraries folder, find where it says TV be gone, go to where it says examples, go into where it says TVB, open it up, and then click on the example. The code has already been edited, so it should be able to work with the current build that we just did. And all you have to do is just check it for bugs. And then once that clears out, then you can upload it to your Arduino. Now granted my Arduino is not connected to my PC at the moment, but just to ensure that you don't run into any problems, do make sure that you are or that you have your computer set to the right port. Or else you'll get an error and your code won't be uploaded to your Arduino. Okay guys, hope this helped. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and have fun.